Hi, I'm Stephen Jessup. And I'm Caden Barnhart. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch we have chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, gravy, steamed carrots, cinnamon roll, and a wheat roll, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick glance at your top five stories of the day. Hi, I'm Andrew Lobermeyer. These are your top five news stories of the day. Number one, Supreme Court begins contentious term with controversial issues on the docket. Number two, major oil spill closes beaches in California. Number three, Kansas City Chief Coach Andy Reid first to win 100 NFL games with two seasons. Number four, Scarlett Johansson and Disney settle Black Widow lawsuit. Number five, Field of Screams opens for season in Mays after altering plans in 2020. Those are your top five news stories of the day. I'm Andrew Lobemeyer. Now back to you guys in the studio. Now for a future fair announcement. Next, an announcement on senior financial aid. Now for an announcement, announcement on Homecoming Spirit Week. The theme for Wednesday is Country vs. Country Club. Thursday is Generations Day, where seniors are senior citizens, juniors are parents, sophomores are teenagers, and freshmen are babies. And Friday is Class Colors Day, where seniors wear black, juniors wear white, sophomores wear purple, and freshmen wear yellow. Next, let's take a look at one of your homecoming candidates. Hi, I'm Kelsey Brunton. Um, I feel so excited and I'm so ready for next week and all the spirit week and it's gonna be so much fun and I hope you guys come out I would cha I would allow us to have open lunch every day and we could go to Sonic and all of the fun places in Valley Um, my royal name would be Queen Kelsey, K-W-E-E-N, though. Yes. Let's test students' knowledge in historical figures versus celebrities. Let's hop. Today we're testing students' knowledge on historical figures and celebrities. <laughs> I have no clue, but Thomas. Woo! Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas, that's all I've got. Thomas. Jake Paul, no clue, but Billy. <laughs> uh, is that Franklin Roosevelt? <laughs> One of the Pauls. Is that the guy that, like does this or whatever, or like Mavs up or whatever? Logan, is that Logan? Jake. Jake, same Franklin. difference. Um, Nixon. George Washington. Is it Charlie? Yeah. Okay. I have no clue who that is. Is it Logan? It's Logan or Jake? Logan? Jake. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> That's Cardi B. For sure. Let's head on over to Weather with Stark. Hey guys, this is Stark. It's been a little while. I'm finally back and welcome back to your daily weather forecast. Please don't mind this. I perfectly drive stick. For today, we'll have mostly sunny skies and a high of 79 degrees Fahrenheit and winds from the northeast will approach at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tonight, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a low of 54 degrees Fahrenheit. That's all for the weather today. Now back to y'all at the studio. Now for a quick blast from the past. Let's start up with this day in history. Stay classy, BC. October 5th, 2001. A new scare for Americans just weeks after the September 11th terror attacks. Robert Stevens, a tabloid photo editor in Florida, dies from inhaled anthrax. He's the first of five people to die from anthrax-laced letters, which also infect more than a dozen others in the United States. The cases remain unsolved. 1988. In Omaha, Nebraska, Nebraska, a memorable Brandy moment during a debate prepared. between two candidates for vice president. Republican Dan Quayle argues that, uh, he has as much experience as John F. Kennedy did when he was elected president. Democrat Lloyd Benson replies, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. 
Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. 1969. Also in Britain, Monty Python's Flying Circus debuts on BBC TV. The comedy series with its absurd gags about silly walks, dead parrots, and spam becomes a cult hit in the United States. And 2001, Barry Bonds of the San Francisco Giants becomes baseball's king of single-season home runs. He hits two homers against the Los Angeles Dodgers, breaking Mark McGuire's record of 70. Bonds ends the season with 73 home runs, still the record, nearly six years before topping Hank Aaron's record of career home runs. Today in history, October 5th, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.